Good morning, everyone. And back for another lesson presentation about grade 8 math lesson for this third quarter, week number one, with the topic Axiomatic Structure of a Mathematical System, Defined and Undefined Terms in Geometry. Before the lesson, kindly answer the following learning task number one. Look at the picture and then answer the questions that follow. Question number one, what do you see in the picture? Question number two, in what branch of mathematics do we discuss these topics? Learning task number two, answer the following. What are the undefined terms in geometry? What things in the real world can represent these undefined terms and why are they undefined? When we say undefined terms, these are the terms that are not precisely defined and are generally accepted. The first undefined term is a point. A point indicates a location in space. It has no dimension. It has no length, no width, and no height or thickness. A point is usually named with a capital letter. The following example is read as point P. In the coordinate plane, it is named by an ordered pair X, Y. The second undefined term is a line. A line is a straight mark with arrowheads on both ends. It has infinite length, no width, and no height or thickness. A line's length extends in one dimension that goes on infinitely in both directions. A line is named by a single lowercase script letter or two capital letters with a double arrowhead above them. The following example is read as line AB, line BA, or line L. The third undefined term is a plane. A plane forms a flat surface extending indefinitely in all directions. It has infinite length, infinite width, and zero height or thickness. A plane is named by a single capital letter, plane M, or by three coplanar but non-collinear points, or plane ABC as shown below. Now, let us proceed to define terms in geometry. When we say define terms, these are the terms that can be defined using known words such as point or line. The first two defined terms are coplanar and non-coplanar points. Coplanar points is a set of all points that lie in the same plane. Non-coplanar points is a set of all points that do not lie in the same plane. Example, points K, L, and M are located on plane P. Points K, L, and M are coplanar points. Point N lies on plane O. Hence, it is not coplanar with points K, L, and M. Therefore, points K, L, M, and N are non-coplanar. The next defined terms are collinear and non-collinear points. Collinear points is a set of all points that lie in the same line. Non-collinear points is a set of all points that do not lie in the same line. Example, points Q, R, and S lie on line L. Points Q, R, and S are collinear points. Point H do not lie on line L. Hence, it is not collinear to point Q, R, and S. Therefore, points Q, R, S, and H are non-collinear points. Another defined term is a ray. A ray is a part of a line that starts at an endpoint and extended indefinitely or infinitely in one direction. And then we also have a segment. A segment is a part of a line consisting of two points and all points between them. The following example is line segment AB. 
then the last one is an angel. It has two rays or two line segments having a common endpoint known as vertex. Now, kindly answer learning task number four, letter A and B. And then for additional practice, kindly answer also learning task number five on page four of your supplementary materials for grade eight mathematics. And then, kindly answer also the assessment tool that has been uploaded in your Google Classroom, the worksheet 3.1. So that's all, and thank you for listening.